pilot program um, which is going to be on Orca Media called Gridiron Sports Talk. In this new program, we will focus on segments such as wheelchair basketball, wheelchair soccer, and many, many other segments, including Beep Baseball, which is for the blind and visually impaired. Um, this program is executive produced by Lawrence and Arlene Seiler uh, with the help of other organizations in the sports world. Um, on this special pilot episode, we take a look at the life and times of Pele. Um, we would like to welcome um, Arlene Seiler. Hello. And we would like to uh, welcome uh, sports reporter and anchor um, Ron Rondon. Hi, Ron. How are you? Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to you, sir. Hello, folks. Hope you're Hello, Ron. Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, okay. Um, so let's begin. Uh, Ron, do you want to begin and talk about Pele? Oh, I'm glad you asked me that because this is because I'm an of my seven years of hosting sports fans on the uh, on podcast and everything else. This is going to be a great way to pick off your new show, and we want to wish you the best of luck of the it's a Deep Red Iron Show. It's going to be a lot of fun anyway. Pele is one of the um, greatest soccer players of all time, and he is representing all of Portugal and Brazil. And by the way, in case everybody does not know Pele, his real name, by the way, I just got His to real know. name was Edison Arantes uh, uh, Nascimento, uh, uh, Nascimento, which is it's a no Brazilian no. Portuguese. He was born, he, uh, Pele was born on October 23rd, 1940, and passed away de December 29th, 19, uh, excuse me, 2022. Known by his nickname Pele, uh, he was a Brazilian professional footballer who played as a forward, and he was regarded as the greatest players of all time, and labeled by the greatest um, uh, as the greatest by FIFA, uh, right. which and, and is the whole story about this too. Because let me tell you, he is not only successful; he's also the popular sports figures of the 20th century in 1999. Yeah. Since we the yeah. International Olympic Committee, that's the IOC. Take your time. Take your time. Go ahead. This was uh, guided by the most important people of the 20th century. That's from the 19th about that. And so it's world player of the country by the International Federation of Football History and specifically mm -hmm. a lot of to say about Pele. Mm -hmm. Pele <clears throat> um Pele began, um, so let's continue here. Uh, Pele began playing for Santos uh in Brazil at the age of 15, and he was on Brazil's national team at age 16. During his international career, he won three FIFA World Cup champions, uh, championships, 1958, 1962, and 1970. He was the only player to do so. He was nicknamed O'Ray. Um, um, o R-E-I, -E uh, which is um, short for the king. Following the 1958 tournament, Pele uh, is the joint top goal scorer of Brazil um, with 77 goals and 92 games uh, at the club level. Um, he was Santos's. Uh, all-time all uh, top goal scorer at 643 goals with um, at 659 games. Uh, in the golden era for Santos, he led 
the club in 1962 and 1963, uh, Copa Libertadores and uh, in 1962 and 1963, International Cup. Credited, um, he was credited by connecting the the phase of uh, um, the beautiful game. And according to Associated Press, um, you know, he was also the um, sports minister uh, for Brazil. Um, and um, he also, uh, Pele's electrifying play and perching and the spectacular goals made him a star around the world and his teams toured internationally to take full advantage of his uh, popularity. During his playing days, Pele, um, for a period of the, he was the highest paid athlete in the world and after retiring in 1977, Pele was a worldwide ambassador for the for football, soccer, football, and uh, many acting and commercial ventures. In 2010, he was named honorary president of the New York Cosmos, um, averaging almost a goal, uh, almost a goal throughout his career. Pele was adept in striking the ball at um, either foot in addition to anticipating the opponent's movements on the field. Um, Ron and Arlene, before before we continue about Pele's life, let's take a look uh, at a piece from the Associated Press about Pele's life and times. Let's take a look at this. This is from the Associated Press. Three, two, one. Um, averaging a, a goal per game throughout his career, uh, uh, he provided a, assist with his vision and passing ability. Um, by the way, welcome back. Um, and go ahead, Ron. What did you want to say about Pele? Well, there's more about uh, Pele's incredible piece of everything. He's also a joint winner, he's two joint winners of the FIFA Player of the Century. He has a total goal of, and this is the point for here, if we're not lying on this one, 1,279 goals. That's 1,279 goals. And a total goal of over, let me see if I can get this whole thing in there in one second. I think we lost the, I think we lost the here. There we go. 1,363 games. That's a lot of games that uh, has excitement for Taylor. He does that. And just to add more to the total, he's also a part of the New York Cosmos. And if you know, he played with the Cosmos. They won a two championship already with him. He played as the captain of the New York Cosmos. So there's a lot to be said about Taylor's support. And then you talk about commercial, and if you were you were talking about commercials, um, he also do you remember the commercial that he did American Express? Mm-hmm. Okay, he did. He talked every single bit of language, and surprise, he did talk English the first time I heard. I might have a clip here, and no, oh, but uh, but we can find the clip in editing. I'll, I'll work on that. I don't know if we can air anything from American Express, but um, we can definitely find some other clips. Of course, also Tab. Don't forget the other one from Tab, I believe. Mm-hmm. So um, Ar- Arlene, did you want to... Um, uh? go, go ahead. What did you want to say about Pele's life? You said, you said he contributed to special needs? Well, yeah, he, um, he did a lot of things for youth. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this so I can let people know. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Let's find it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Matter of fact. Yeah. Um. 
Pay, hey, yeah. Hold on. One second. I'm, 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 I'm getting it. Hold on. Pele, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm getting it right now. Hey. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Pele worked uh, some. He worked a lot with youth groups and uh, people with special needs when it came to teaching them soccer as well. Um, you know, all around the world, um, this gentleman did a lot of um, work with youth groups, and especially as the minister of sports, you know, and tr and tourism in Brazil. Go ahead, Ron. What did you want to say? Okay, there's also some things I just found out. I'm never seeing this way. It started in 1956. He tried out for a professional football club near San Paulo, that is the capital of Brazil. And he tried out for a successful football club named Santo Football Club. That's the first time it did. He did, and then other games, he did to a lot of work up after the 58 season at the World Club as well. He heard both clubs such as, this is the list, Real Madrid, Novento, that's in Italy, Manchester United, he tried to find him. In 58, he even managed to uh, sign with Inter Milan as well. And, of course, Valencia CF. So those are the, uh, some of the, among the teams that he played. And he did win his first major title with a team from Santo Football Club in 1958. He's the tournament top scorer for a total of 58 goals. There's a lot going on for this whole championship. Mm -hmm. And... Also, 33 goals in 1960. His team reigned for, I think we're going to pronounce it, Campo Rosado Valencia trophy, but lost out to Rio San Paulo in this one. Also, in 60, 47 goals of Santos reigned the Campo Rosado, that's the South of Brazil. It's, there's a number of successful numbers on championships, and this is why he is the Brazilian master of all football. And I'm very happy that he remembers his great year, you. He's been a disaster, and also, if you remember 1994, he made an appearance over at the World, in the United States version of the World Cup, as we remember it, 1994 in Los Angeles. So that is just a magnificent run to do it. Mm -hmm. Since we are um, getting to, uh, we're talking about Pele here, I just want to mention uh, there, there is something around the world called wheelchair uh, soccer. Um, even though it wasn't part of Pele, um, there is... Um, there is the... Let's see here. The um, there is an organization called United States Power Soccer, which uh, I just wanted to bring to mention it. Uh, we're going to be mentioning a lot of that on our new on this new program. Um, if you want to find out more about uh, wheelchair soccer uh, using power chairs, um, you can go to www.powersoccerusa. Org. That is www.powersoccerusa.org. And on this website, <clears throat> um, you can find, um, they teach you about the game in terms of the rules and regulations using wheelchairs. So let me explain. Rules change when it comes to uh, certain types of uh Certain types of sports, uh, from basketball to soccer to baseball, um, there are, are there are adaptable rules when it comes to that, um, and uh, people with special needs. So, for more information, um, you know, in terms of using wheelchairs and. Uh, getting involved in uh, soccer, uh, since we are talking about soccer today, you can go to www.
powersoccerusa.org. That is www.powersoccerusa.org. Uh, it talks about leagues and teams, uh, conferences, uh, rules and regulations, how to get involved, and resources of, and membership. Um, again, www.powersoccerusa.org. So let's get back to uh, Pele and his uh, life and times. Go ahead, Ron and Arlie. Well, there's uh, another story I just also found. I found this picture as well on uh, Wikipedia. This is a postage stamp. It is a Brazilian postage stamp on his 1,000 goal. And it is the committed one that he scored that thousand goal, and it was a memorable one. And this is commemorating. After and of course, there is so much history on this. And by the way, <coughs> this is a lot else to be great to be represented by the FIFA World Cup a long time ago. And there is a lot to be said about his appearance in the United States, and then. He was the player of the century and everything else that we remember. But here's the best part of everything about this whole story. Listen to the word. In 2014, Pele was rewarded the first ever FIFA Belong to All Three Day on Earth. It is an acknowledgement from the world governing the body of this sport, that's football, or soccer, depends on what you want to call it. So, and of course, after changing the rules and track football, the guys at the Allen, 2,000 the players would have won that award. So um, for those that just so I, we can, um, for Arlene and Ron, those that don't understand what FIFA is or FIFA, uh, F-I-F-A, the Federation International uh, Football Association, or uh, in... Um, as it's uh, pronounced, Federación Internacional de, F de Football Association. Uh, Association. Uh, I think I said it right. Um, uh, the International Association for Football Federation. Um, it's an international um, governing body of uh, association football or beach football or futsal uh, was founded in 1904 and uh, to oversee the international competition among national associations of Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Netherlands, Sp Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. Headquartered in Zurich, Switzerland, its membership comprises of 211 national associations. These um, these national associations um, must each um, be members of the six regional uh, confederations which um, the world is divided, CAF, Africa, and AFC, Asia, and Australia. So uh, it's a conference of um, people who play soccer in this case. Um, go ahead. And then there's one other story that we throw that in as well. And this is on the day, you know, on June 21st, 2026. Pele, public and over president, the president of Brazil, got to be a person on the Instagram account. Now, he made a public plea to stop the evil and unjustified to the Russian president of invasion of Ukraine. And he wrote this very seriously because I am surprised that he did publish an open letter. So he is fantastic to know. And one final thing I'm just going to throw this in because I want to get that. Uh, religion, according to religion, uh, donate, he donated a signed jersey to Pope Francis accompanied by a side football team named Ronaldo Nazario that's located in the Vatican Museum. A great story that is very important. And you were talking about Pele, and about wheelchair, power wheelchair, or soccer. He was in a wheelchair 
2018. Who, Pele? Pele, that was in a wheelchair. I have it right here. I have it right Pele here. was in a wheelchair. Oh. Oh, because he, yeah, he had kidney problems. That's right. And he's unveiling the statue, that statue of Pele himself, over at Rio de Janeiro. So there's another kind of story. So I'll throw a couple pictures in. Yeah, uh, it says, according to the Daily Mail, um... Yeah, they, he, well, he, Pele had, um, he was frail at one point because he had kidney problems, yes. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, Ron, we want to thank you for joining us on today's um, program about Pele. Yeah. And uh, we we thank you for joining us on our new on our new tele. Anything you want to say, Arlene, before we end? No, no. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, well, let me just say this. Yeah, uh, Pele did have, um, according to the Daily Mail, and by the way, there is a um, there is a net a Netflix documentary talking about uh, Pele. Um, that you might want to check out. But um, it was um, in 2021, it was shown on uh, Netflix. But yeah, uh, Pele at one point did have uh, kidney problems or, uh, or problems with his health. Um, you know, um, so yeah, so according to, let's see. Um, so he passed away, Pele passed away at 82 years old um, due to, um, he was fighting for his life, he was in critical condition, um, according to the Spanish publication um, El Español, Español, and um, he was in critical condition, uh, according to also Sporting News. Uh, Pele's health, last thing before we end, uh, Pele's health um, deteriorated. Uh, he was 82 years old after battling a serious illness, which included uh, kidney, uh, kidney issues as well. Um, so um, for us, we would like to say that, you know, Pele was a, a nurturing figure in the world of soccer. He helped a, a lot of people in, in tourism and youth. And uh, we thank him for helping the world realize that soccer is a great sport. And um, we want to thank everyone for watching this um, pilot of um, Gridiron Sports Talk, which will um, be on again and again and again. Uh, we, we would like Good to say... Good luck that's all I needed. Huh? Good luck with it. That's all we have to know about. So we yeah, we will, we, will, um, we will talk about more sports and more abilities in sports despite people's disabilities. We would like to thank Ron Rondin of, um, of Brooklyn's Free Speech oh, yeah. One. And we uh, and Ron Rondon does a show called uh, Road Trip with Ron Rondon. Uh, what are the days that your show airs? It's going to be Friday morning early at 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. In, in Brooklyn, and, yeah. And also the encore will be at 11.30 p.m. to 12 midnight. And you can check it out. The, on, on, uh, Brick, on Brick Arts Media. Uh, which can be found at www. What is it? Brickartsmedia.org. Slash one. Okay. Uh, we would like to thank Ron Rondon and Arlene Seiler for joining us for this new show, um, Grand Iron Sports Talk, only on Orca Media, the only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and all abilities in sports. Again, we would like to thank our sponsors, um, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and we would also like to thank uh, um, people of the sports world, 
for joining us for this, um, and uh, sports anchors and reporters for joining us on this new uh, show called Great Iron Sports Talk. I'm Lawrence Seiler. I'm Ali And thank you, Ron Rondon, for joining us again. See you next time on the next edition of Gridiron Sports Talk, only on the Gridiron.